All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Los Angeles Lakers video for you. Before we get into this video, if you guys enjoy, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, post NBA content every single day, post Laker videos all the time. The Lakers have officially signed Darren Collison. Now, due to all this COVID protocol, all these issues, um, your team needs a minimum amount of players, and with all these guys dropping like flies. Um, they went out, they got Stanley Johnson as well, and they got uh, Darren Collison, but we're gonna focus primarily on Darren Collison in this video because I think Darren can legitimately help this Lakers team. The bad news is he's 34 years old, but this is very, very low risk, but it is relatively high reward. But like I said, it's just very low risk. It's a guy who is, he doesn't do anything foolish. He doesn't do anything crazy. But at the same time, he doesn't go berserk and win you basketball games single-handedly. And like I said, Darren Collison is now 34 years old as well. So it's been a couple of years since he's been in the league. It'll be interesting to see what he still has left in the tank. But in the last... In his last NBA season where he played for the Indiana Pacers, he actually averaged 11 points per game, 6 assists and shot 41% from downtown. So that's exactly what the Lakers need. An unselfish player, a guy who just is gonna fit into the system, fit into the culture, and most importantly, isn't going to just lose you a game. One and a half turnovers in that season with the Pacers, he's just Mr. Reliable. You can rely on a player like Darren Collison, and I would imagine even at 34 years old, it's not like he's going to be sloppy with the basketball all of a sudden. So I would imagine those turnovers are always going to be in check with Darren. And that's an issue that I've been seeing with the Lakers. I mean, last night you gave up 138 points to the San Antonio Spurs, who were like 12 and 18. DeJounte Murray didn't even have a good game. DeJounte Murray went 3 of 16. So Getting a guy like Darren Collison, it's most likely not going to move the needle any, any much. But if on the off chance he does, then the Lakers possibly got a nice little player there. Because I'm looking at guys on this Lakers team and they're just not playing the way they need to be playing. Carmelo Anthony, Wayne Ellington. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. And it's pretty much every single player not named LeBron James. I mean, LeBron's literally playing 20 minutes a half, doing everything he can do, scoring 36 points, and losing by 28. So this Lakers team needs something. And with all these players injured, with all these players with COVID protocols, you need guys you can re rely on, guys you can lean on. And as for me, I can't, there's no way I can lean on IT. I'm rooting for Isaiah Thomas and a revived basketball career. I don't think it's on the Lakers. Though. I really don't think it's on the Lakers. The Lakers have a huge defensive issue. I know that the Lakers are like eighth in defensive rating or whatever. But as you saw last night, the San Antonio Spurs are one of the worst shoot three point shooting teams in the NBA. They don't take threes. Last night, they took 38, 39. They made 18. The Lakers just weren't even deciding to guard them at that three-point lane. So having guys like IT offensively, I like it. But unless Thomas is going off for 15 points every single night, I just don't think that the bad outweighs the good or the good outweighs the bad. So this probably means the end of Isaiah Thomas. Um, I wish him the best of luck. Who knows? Maybe they'll maybe they'll re-sign him again at some point in the season. Uh, but for now, it looks like it's Darren Collison time, and I think this is exactly what the Lakers need and are looking for. UCLA, UCLA teammate, got that Russell Westbrook connection as well. But all these old heads, man, all of these old heads. I think Darren Collison might actually be the best one, the most reliable, the most consistent one. This guy, the Lakers have been trying to get figure out a way to get Darren Collison in LA for years now. Like it's literally been years. So now that it is finally happened, I cannot wait to see. I think this is even a guy, Darren Collison, as crazy as it seems. This is a guy where if Russ were to go down with COVID, if Russ were to tweak something, I would feel comfortable starting Darren Collison. I know I haven't seen him play. We haven't seen him play yet this season, but he's just that type of guy. He's that type of player. 
He's got that rep, his game style, his demeanor. All, all everything about Darren Collison screams you could actually start this guy and win basketball games. So that's it for today, guys. Drop some comments down below on the addition of Darren Collison, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.